And this is a lobster mushroom. This lobster mushroom is a very unique mushroom. Because not only is it a, a fungus, but it also has to be attacked by a mold. So it's either a Rusula or a Lactarius. But it's hypomyces. Let me see. It looks like a lobster. This one's been eaten up. But that's what you're looking for in the woods. Looks like someone cooked a lobster, a real lobster, and threw it into the woods. And look how bright that is. The issue is a lot of times all you get is just a small fraction of it. You know, you don't see it. It's hard. That's about all you get right there. So you just have to uncover it. Look around for the next one. Got to get down. So these are Indian pipes. They are a, a plant that does not use the sun for its power. It's a plant that is uh, associated with lobster mushrooms host species so when you see these that would be the area you start looking for lobster mushrooms really these and they stand out if you can't see the bright orange because maybe it's underneath the leaves you know you can you can actually look for these they stand up and they kind of stick out in the in a forest because they're they're so white there is a, a yellow version that has many, it's, it's folded over and has, instead of one looking flower, it has a bunch of little things on it. But yeah, that's, there you go. It's an Indian pipe. Okay, so a little trick when you're out looking for lobsters is make sure you're walking up the hill. Because when you walk up the hill, when the lobster's coming out, it'll pick the leaves up. And you'll be able to see the color of the lobsters. Instead of walking down over it, and then the leaves just pick it up and you won't see it. So this way, you can kind of see where the lobsters are. And here's a lobster right now. This is a lobster marker. And this is, these around here are actually a lot more white for some odd reason. They all are in this one area. You scrape it off. I try cleaning them up really good before I even put them in my basket. It saves me when I get home. Because you already spend a lot of time on lobsters cleaning, so... Spending a lot of time on lobsters is not my idea of a good time, so... Try to do more earlier. Saves me later.
in dry years you need to look in places that are a little less obvious or a little earlier uh, at least look at them a little bit earlier than than you would uh, in wet years wet years you have to worry about the bugs dry years you have to worry about them being hidden and not coming out so here is a here's a lobster that is underneath the duff You see, it's really dry. Really dry. Yeah. A couple slug holes, but feels dense still. Still edible. I will just spread this one because I don't see a whole lot out here. And so this should be just spread. And when you're looking for lobster mushrooms, it's best to look right along the edge of a trail or a clearing. Somewhere, somewhere right along there. It, the lobsters seem to like the opening, but also don't want to be right out in the open so where they can't grow. And that is the area. Partial shade, partial sun, but they definitely love the clearings. Now that, those are bugs. Any of those little, you cut into it. You see the white, it's all supposed to be white. Bugs. Yeah, that, that's a no-go. So you can just take this and spread it around the area and you'll come back and it'll probably be more lobster mushrooms instead of the host mushrooms, Lactarius or Rusula. That's been my experience. The places that I don't go and spread this around, lobsters are not as prevalent as when the years that I'm actually out moving this stuff around. Just take it and shuck it. I also like to find Lactarius and Rusula and spread it around there and come back and see the next, hopefully the next fruits are lobster mushrooms. Okay, along this edge. See the lobster. Well, that's another old one. Like that, baby. Brush it up. And then move on. That's how you're going to find the better lobsters down underneath there. Even though that one is not all that much better. You see the white? There's no bugs in there. No buggies in that one, but it's really dirty. No, nope. not this one though. This one's too far gone. Yeah, there's actually some bugs in there. So you could take that and you could cook that piece up. No problem, same thing probably with that one. Yeah, you definitely could, but if you're going to harvest to sell or trade, you want bigger and better and mushrooms than this. You do not want to hand someone this crap and have this be their first 
lobster mushroom to try because you will ruin the experience and you ruin it for all the other foragers that try to try to sell to them and try to get other people to enjoy it because they've tried your crap mushrooms so make sure you only hand out and eat the best ones unless you need it